event going on in Florida right now called Plant Bamboo. They got buggy races going on behind us. They got mud trucks, mud holes. It's about to be a weekend. Stay tuned for the end of the video where this guy in this Turbo RR XMR actually helps me out with the Hellcat. What are you bringing, brother? What are we racing? The Denali? Denali. Hey, you're done. The Denali. You're Let's done. Go. Let's go. You're done. Hold yes, sir. On this lane, you'll be better off with this lane you're over here. Live lane? Can I not a GoPro in your hand? Yeah, yeah. race he was a four-wheel drive i only had two but hey we're gonna run it back against this jeep over here sounds pretty sick he's got two-wheel drive give me on camera now dude get out of here give me on camera now we got a two-wheel drive jeep going against two-wheel drive challenger this it's guy got, knows the deal it's got a, it's we're got running it we're running it hell yeah i heard you guys are doing some stuff out here today we're trying how about you you want to race i mean i would love to race it what are you what are you driving just old ford truck which one I bought it for a couple grand this week. Oh, your 6 0 that you got? My, ten, my, my budget build. Okay, okay. My budget bogger. It's lined up, ready to go. Two wheel drive? It, I mean, are you going to run it in two? Two wheel drive, 95 Cheyenne, baby. Chevrolet, right there. Dude, get it out. I'm yeah. out here, right? I'm Let's waiting on you. Hey, I'll run this thing all day. I think I think, I think, think we should run real quick. I think, get I think, it out. We're right there. When I was going by, I was in the floor just like do, 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 <laughs> have no brakes. I saw you start to slow down. I was like, I'm staying in it until the checker, baby. You had to. I, I was feeling like we were going to jump it. I know, I know. That was a good race. You had me off the line for like the first, what is it? What is this, like I don't even 500 know. feet? But dude, you had the wheel speed for sure. Oh, you had dude, the, the wheel, wheel speed there for there sure. What's is. under your Jeep? It's just 5'3 junkyard. Turbo? Not yet. All right, hopefully after this event, I'm getting twins for it. Jeep eBay's, you know. Hell yeah, dude. Nice speed. work. Hey, dude, good to see you again. Hey, man. Good to see you as well. Great, great being out here. Dude, nice. How far are you from here? Two and a half hours. Oh, that's not bad. Is this the new rig, eh? This is it. Are you going to race or just on the sidelines? <laughs> I mean, I just done two passes. I heard you've been sitting on the side all day. I've been waiting for you. Have you? I mean, I'll, 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 let's go. Let's go. All right. Huh? Two wheel drive. Not happening. What? I have a quarter of the horsepower. That doesn't matter. That's... You've got the weight and the tires. The, the weight is the not an cap. advantage. <laughs> wow. Way to talk about a boy right, Mike well, like that. I get, I get the light. <laughs> That's messed up. I get the up, jump. Yeah. I'll let you have the jump. All right. We're going up against JH and his new six liter, and uh, he's got a big weight advantage, and he's going four wheel drive, so I'm expecting an L here, but he is going to give me the jump. Yeah, weight disadvantage. This truck has a quarter of the horsepower and weighs three times as much as Yeah, but when you're in loose dirt like this, this is where it's at. All right, let's, let's do it.
definitely had me on the line, but the, if somebody was filming on the finish line, he braked early because those buggies were coming across and it was darn close. Really? Yeah, but I mean, I was moving quick. Does that go stepping on your lunchable? Oh, oh, yeah, it's right there. Good. My lunchable's good. Is it heating up on the floorboard? Yeah, I'll wait, we'll save it for later. Oh, I like it. He's barefoot. Barefoot line. I can shift faster with bare feet than with flip flops. Because you need more feel for a car. Yeah. <laughs> you were sitting passenger, weren't you? Yeah, so, so I was, who actually crossed the finish line first? Because you guys were on the brakes pretty early. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was us. We had a disadvantage because I was sitting in the truck a lot slower. Not but uh, we, we tried to give you the hit, uh, the weight, everything. The, the ruts are weird. Like, I kept rolling past the beams, you know? Uh, they've been tearing it up all day with these big buggies. Yeah, they have. But it was well, a fun was cool. run. It was, it was a fun cool. run. It was. You know what? You know what it was? You didn't win because Zaka wasn't playing Motley Crue on your AM radio. <laughs> well, I mean, you right. might have a point there, bro. I mean, you might be out of something. Motley Crue would have been on with Zacho in the car. You guys probably could have run the race like good yeah. We got a lot of armchair quarterbacks out here. Dude, those buggies came across. You braked early. I braked after the checkers, bud. It was close to the I got on film. Really? No. It was close to the checkers. I mean, whenever you hit the brakes, I, I let you come up here. I, I, I that just was... slide and all locked up. I had to have been, dude. I you sprayed those people so bad. I know, I know. <laughs> I said, typical Parker move. It was a typical Parker, Parker move. I will admit that. But I was in the zone, man. I was having fun. <laughs> Whatever. Now we're going to take that thing bogging. We should. Enough with the uh, the uh, not mud. Let's go to mud. Did you bring your giveaway truck? No. I want to see that thing. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I want to see it. I know I've seen it, but I haven't seen it with the wrap off. Looks good. Good. I've been keeping in the back of the Hellcat. We got our uh, we got our tug rope here. We got some jumper cables. Zach, oh yeah, bro. What do you think? Not a dull moment at the mud park. No, this is pretty wild out here. I mean, look at this thing, dude. This thing's huge. I'll come rip with you some more. Yeah, you should. Go get that thing. Well, the Hellcat's not even that dirty. Just a little bit of mud on the front. That'll come right off. Turn my windshield wiper on. That helps.
goes wherever you want it to, doesn't it? Basically. This thing is massive. You really gotta be holding on to something. Got the rear steer. Power. The Hellcat looks so small from up here. We got Brian and his bike truck. out here. Respect to him for bogging this thing or driving it in the dirt at least. Pretty sick. This guy brings a Tesla out here. Heck yeah. Getting it dirty. I like it. Wow. How exciting. Dude, that's Brian. A great invention this guy's got his trailer on his trailer hooked to his truck and then he puts his mega truck on the back what a great setup i got a little bit of a hot tune in there all right we got a beautiful dirt road right behind us the sun's setting and i thought what would be better than to make some gears out here so what do you say zach we go to make some gears real quick screw it up brother make some noise
Not wake up the old. neighbors. <laughs> oh, no parking brake. Just leave her in gear. It's an anti theft device. So, what do you think? She get down? Yeah, she's down and dirty. She is down and dirty. Helping me out, bring me back to camp. Yeah. John Hines, baby. We're gonna do it behind that. What you got here? Honda, the Honda Rincon 650. I got a couple YouTube channel like, videos on it. What's your uh, channel name? John Hines. Alright, well, I'll put a link in the description where you guys yeah, can find sir. this guy. Hopefully, the Honda doesn't let us down. I don't think it will, though. I think we're yeah. lost. It's been running pretty good. I had some problems. I fixed it. It's running good now, so hopefully, we can tell you right. that. Alright, we're gonna bring this thing back to camp. We're supposed to get a ton of rain tonight, so I wanna try and get it loaded up before we start having. Uh, turned into a swamp out here. Guys, we got a whole group of people out here helping me now. I'm pretty pumped about it. This guy's got a uh, Turbo R XMR. New one, identical to the one I had, right, dude? Yeah, yeah, Fresh yeah. unit. Guys, like, low hours, too, huh? Sick. Sick machine, man. He's gonna winch me out of the trailer because the car is absolutely cooked. 25 hours. Need a roof? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I need a bunch of stuff, actually. Yeah, you do. Dude, you can literally put a hundred grand into one of these machines and still have like stuff to add. It's, it's crazy. It's yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Let's see what How do you guys want to do this? You said you're going to run through the front of the trailer? Yeah, run it through here and then over the top. Brian was giving me a ride in his truck back to camp and he did a pull and the whole crank pulley, like harmonic balancer, ripped off the crank. Like the little bolts that hold it into the crank sheared completely off. So he doesn't have power steering or brakes. So we're gonna go get my truck and his trailer and drive it over here to get it loaded up like on the trail. Yeah. But uh, it is what it is. We're headed back to camp for the night, having fun. And uh, now it's broken. So he's leaving broken, I'm leaving broken. I'm still running. Zach's still yes. running. <laughs> Finally got home and about to unload the car on the lift and I can clearly see what broke and my suspicion was right. Sure enough, it's an axle and it's even worse than before. <laughs> Check this out. The axle is literally dangling off the wheel hub. So uh, hopefully we don't have to pull the rear differential this time, but we're getting there cleaned up. The boys of the neighborhood are helping me clean this thing up as I organize the garage and do some laundry. And hey, gotta support the community. They wanna help out too and I'm willing to pay them, so. Today I'm at possibly one of my favorite events ever, and that is a charity shoot at our local Sporting Clay spot. We're at Sarasota Trap and Skeet, and today we're raising money for Suncoast Charities for Children, for children with disabilities and issues. This is probably one of their biggest events they've ever had. There's gonna be 65 teams of four shooters, so we're looking at like 240 plus shooters today, and we go around to about 10 different stations shooting 50 shells each. 200 shells per team and how it's scored is based on how many clays you break out of the 200 shells you shoot and there's a big auction for different items they're giving away guns and it's just a super cool way to raise money and so like i said this is probably one of my favorite events to go to each year yo guys i want to introduce you to a good friend of mine maverick we've been friends for what like 10 15 years yeah a long point. time and we've done some charity work back and forth he's actually helping put on the event so i'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about what's going on here all right maverick you're on brother Suncoast Charities for Children does a lot of great stuff in our community. They help kids a little bit less fortunate, special needs, developmental disabilities, a lot of those things. And they kind of put it all together through the Suncoast Charities for Children umbrella. They do amazing work. So thank you for your support today. All right. And where can they find you at? 
They can find me, Maverick Johnson, on Instagram, Facebook, and we do a lot of work in the community, and we'd love to work with you. You want to talk about an influencer. This guy's been a local influencer longer than anybody's been doing it. So go check out his info. I'll put a link in the description below. Pretty proud of this, but I did shoot a 50 today. So I'm currently sitting in first place for single shooter. And then our team is sitting in third for overall out of 66 teams. Let me show you. So it wasn't this particular uh, charity shoot, but the one right after that I did, I won overall shooter. I shot a 49 out of 50. And then our team placed third. So I got two trophies this weekend at the Operation Patriot Support shoot. And uh, finally chipping away some trophies. It's been a gold mine for a long time. And I love shooting shotguns. It's just something about it. But I am going to another shoot this weekend that's in Okeechobee. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I can't show much of it on camera, but I'm going to try and film as much as I can to get a video out for you guys. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you later. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.